I am sorry I'm running late today. I am so, so sorry. I have had a crazy fun day, but it's been a day. And <clears throat> I'm so happy that you guys have all decided to join me. And I have a huge mess on my desk. Hi, everybody. Hi, Amberly. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Susan. Hi, Luana. Hi, Grace. Hi, who else am I missing? Hi, Carrie. Hi, Luana. Hi. I'm trying to see all the people. So say hey, everybody. I'm happy to see all of you. I'm happy, happy, happy to see you. Anyway, today's been a day. Hi, Ann. So tell me what's going on in your world. Hi, Fee. Hi, Kiala. Aloha. It is definitely Aloha Friday. Hi, Lucinda. How are you? How are you? Hi, Carla. I'm happy to see you guys. I'm sorry I was late. I, you know, I ended up, um, I had an interview and I ended up in this interview and I thought, and it was on the other side of the island. Hi, Edna. And I ended up on the other side of the island, and <clears throat> I told you guys, it, it's not fast. Some days it's really slow, and it just took me forever to get home, which should normally take like 20 minutes, so I was running late anyway. So what should normally take like 20 minutes ended up taking me um, an hour and a half. And then when I got home, I realized I had a headache. I hadn't eaten anything today, so I had to... I made myself a half a sandwich. Actually, Hottie made me a half a sandwich. And Pity Pat Pat is in the house. Hi, Jen. Hi, Mildred. So Hottie made me a half a sandwich. Made myself some iced tea. Changed my clothes. And here I am. So we'll definitely do a couple of ATCs. I saw some amazing... You girls are really rocking it out in the ATC uh, thing. I mean, I, I saw some of the ATCs you guys are doing. It's great. I'm sorry, my desk is a huge, my little tiny table is a huge mess. Hi, Renee. I am here. I know. Go, Hottie. He made me a turkey, a turkey sandwich with Swiss cheese and olives and potato chips, and it was good. But I can I tell you, I'm having a sinus issue. I'm having some sinus problems right now, and... So the roof of my mouth is really sore. Does anybody ever have that? Do you guys, any of you suffer from sinus stuff? I'm sorry, I'm just going to try and clean off my desk just a little bit. My my tiny table for a second. So I have this, this sinus thing. And in the sinus thing, it's just, it kind of wears you out a little bit. Does anybody besides me have that? Hi, Susan. You needed to be with your tribe. Oh, we're happy you're here, Renee. I'm so happy, you guys. I have sinus. Okay, I was doing really good. Hi, Ash. Hi, Grace. Um, I was doing super, super good. Hi, Janine. I was doing super, super good, doing a sinus rinse every day. And then, you know, like when you're not suffering from it, you're like, oh, do I have to do this? It's like a neti pot. And if you've never done that, it's kind of weird. You know what I mean? Where you're putting water up your nose. Anyway. So I laxed with my sinus thing, and I'm telling you, it has come back with a vengeance. It has come back with a vengeance, and I have the worst sinus headache, and I've had it all day. So, anyway, let me give me a couple sips of tea. Maybe we can do, like, a grounding meditation to start with. A neti pot is weird. So I have one, like, a neti pot, and then I have one called a sinurance, which is even a little bit weirder. It's like a squeeze bottle, and you... It causes suction on one side of your nose, so you squeeze it, and then the water comes out the other side. Have you ever done that? Oh. Hi, Scotty! Uh, I'm just telling you. So, the roof of my mouth has been super sore, so I haven't really been able to eat a lot. Hi, Lisa! We have two Lisas. Lisa, Lisa! Okay, so, what did you guys do all week? I think, let's do a little grounding, can we do like a little grounding energy work so I can feel all present? And then we can get on with our crafting, our crafting chat. So we're going to make some ATCs. So for those of you that don't know, that's artist trading cards. And 
here's the beginning of mine or the start of mine. I saw some, you girls are rocking it out with the ATCs. I made some more backgrounds last week. Where are the ones? I, I did a whole bunch of gluing after we got off the air last week to... So here's the ones that I have to add images to, and I'll show you find my ones that I've already added images to. So I'm going to tell you guys we're doing, this is our power pack that we're doing, you know, with all the ladies, right? We're doing that. And then we're also going to make what I'm going to call Make and Use Junk Journal. And it's going to be super simple. So if you want to join in, um, you need an envelope, um, a small envelope like this or some painty papers and we can make an envelope and I'll show you how to do that because I made this envelope out of a brown paper bag, my painty paper brown paper bag. And then we're going to add only 10 pages to it. Okay, let's do a little grounding for a minute. And so for those of you, hi Ken. Okay, so hi Joyce. Joyce, I'm so happy to see you guys. Okay, so we're just going to do something to get ourselves like, basically for me, you guys, because I've been running around. Literally, I've been in my house like less than 20 minutes. <clears throat> And so, so sit, sit in a place where you're comfortable and just put your attention on your heart. Now what I want you to do is in your heart see a big gold sphere, big gold ball. <clears throat> First you can see the gold ball, like maybe the size of a ping pong ball. And we're going to inhale and exhale and see it grow to the size of a tennis ball. Inhale, exhale. See your gold light the size of a small grapefruit. Inhale, exhale. See it get larger and grow to the size of a gold basketball, a golden light basketball in your heart center. And one more time. Now from this gold <clears throat> sphere of light, this basketball sized sphere of light. See a beam of light run right through it and it runs right through your heart all the way through your solar plexus, through your lower abdomen, through the base of your spine and deep, deep, deep into the earth. See the gold beam of light running all the way from your base of your, from your heart through your solar plexus your lower abdomen through the base of your spine deep into the earth deep 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 and form deep tree roots ready breathe it in see it expand now ask to feel the beautiful earth energy rise up through your tree roots all the way up through your beam of light through the base of your spine through your lower abdomen through your solar plexus or your navel center feel it rising up into your heart Now feel your beam of light rising up through your heart, your throat, forehead, and fountaining out the top of your head. Feel this beautiful gold earth energy <clears throat> rise through your heart, through your throat, through your forehead, and fountaining out the top of your head. Focus about six feet above your head. 
<clears throat> and ask that this beautiful cosmic heavenly energy meet with your gold earth energy and come through that to the top of your head forehead throat through your heart your solar plexus which is at your navel through your second energy center <clears throat> which is in your lower abdomen and feel it pouring deep into the earth from your first energy center at the base of your spine and pouring down into your beam of light <clears throat> deep into the earth and out your tree roots ready breathe it in and one more time and one more time Feel your connection to heaven and earth. Now let's focus back on your, your basketball ball of light in your heart. And then we're going to ask for the spirits of creativity, the spirit of peace, the spirit of joy, friendship, and camaraderie. And you can add anything that you'd like to add to. Call on all of those spirits of positive energy inspiration, creativity, friendship, fun, freedom, love. Ready? Invite it all in. And also, as always, the spirit, our higher self and the spirit of the divine, right? In whatever form you you like to choose it. Breathe it into your heart. And breathe it into your heart. And breathe it into your heart. Now for those of you that need healing in any area of your body, <clears throat> your body, soul, personality, anything for your mind, your heart, your soul, <clears throat> any parts of you, physical healing, mental, emotional, spiritual, any type of healing that you feel or any little extra positive energy boost that you'd like, just invite that in now. Ready? Breathe it in. And breathe it in. And breathe it in. Give your body personality permission to receive healing on any forms that it needs, <clears throat> only coming from your higher self and the divine, or your angels, or whatever you'd like to call it. Some people call it God energy, divine energy, angel energy, infinite spirit, earth spirit, mother, mother spirit, divine mother, whatever you want to call it. It's all the same energy. Breathe it in. And one more time. Okay, girls. <clears throat> awesome. How are you feeling now? Oh, good. I'm glad. <clears throat> I'm feeling better, too, because I was running. I was in traffic. I was stressing myself out. Let's do it. No, right? We're ready. Awesome, awesome. Okay. I've had a great creative week. I had um, a lot of fun. I've been arting every day, so I can't advise you enough for your own mental health. Oh, you're welcome, you guys. I love you so much. You have no idea how much I love you. <clears throat> Thank you for being on my journey with me, this crazy journey, and I love it. I've arted all week. I've made it my point. 
especially on the days that I haven't wanted to do anything. So have you guys ever had those days where you just don't want to do anything? Like you have all these great, oh, you're welcome. You're so, so welcome. <clears throat> that you have all these ideas, but then you just get sucked into this vortex of whatever you're doing and you just aren't productive. Does anybody besides me have that? So I have had that week. Okay, so I did. I was determined that no matter what, no matter how crazy I got, no matter what I did, I was going to art this week. Okay, I was going to art, art, art this week. <clears throat> like really art, like enjoy myself and really art. So I did a couple of things. One was I started and made, I made some more backgrounds for my cards. I covered some more of my power pack cards. So I did that. So for those of you that are participating in making our power pack, <laughs> hi, Natty. You know, it, it really can get to you, right? <clears throat> so 15 minutes a day. That's just, I'm just telling you girls, make yourself a goal 15 minutes a day. 15 minutes a day of arting. And gentlemen too, if, there, if, you're, if there are any gentlemen here. So that's one good thing about doing an ATC, an artist trading card. You can, and what's even better is if you've gone ahead and glued or made some painting papers in any of your time here with me, um, you can just glue, get some cards ready for when you want your 15 minutes, right? So, and we're happy you're here with us, Nettie. We're happy you're here. Um, so, I have been... I mean, making my, I did a bunch of backgrounds for my cards. That was one day, or maybe that was two days, because I did a lot of backgrounds. <clears throat> and I gathered some more magazines. I haven't cut out any images from my, or words from my power pack, but I got it going on, because my goal is I'm going to do two decks of cards and for my power pack. Hi, Vicky! So I did that. Um, I don't know. I made some more painty papers. You know me and my obsession with painty papers. I made a bunch of painty papers. And for those of you that have never made painting papers with me, it's so fun. Um, right now I'm using newsprint, but you can use anything you want. You can put, um, you can put, you know, make your, make your, hi Sarita, you're hiding under the covers because it's cold, we're sending you love. So I've been making painting papers and I've been making them out of newsprint. So what I do to prepare for my painting papers, I'll just show you. And if you guys haven't made painting papers with me, I do it like the easy, cheaty way. I'm, you know me, I'm all about fast and easy, right? You can make them out of magazines too. So what I do is I take these free shopping flyers that come in the mail here, and they come big, right? And I cut them all up to this size, and I just leave them one stacked on the other, and I do some painting papers that way. Okay, so I've been doing my painting papers, put in some painting papers. And then I also made this, I'm going to call it Make It and Use It Junk Journal. And I want all of you guys, we're going to make one of these today. Okay, it's so simple, so easy. So you need an envelope or if you painted a painting paper, you, this is a brown paper bag that I made into one. Okay, so I haven't sewn it in yet, but I'm just going to make this and I'm only making it 10 pages. And the reason I'm only making it 10 pages is 10 pages is enough sides to do... Enough side to do enough sides to have journal or art on every day, because eight pages gives you you know it gives you four sides per page. So if you count your pages, so you'll have forty. It'll end up being forty sides, right? So this is one, two. Do you see what I mean? Like you get front and back of everything. So ten pages can be a month long journal. You can write in it. You can art in it. Ten pages will give you forty sides. So. That's what I've done here, and that's what we're going to make today. We're going to make our Make It and Use It junk journal. Now, you can make it with plain pages on the inside if you don't want to use um, used book pages or painting papers or what have you. Hi, Brigeline. Hi, Amanda. Happy to see you here. Hi, Kim, if I didn't see you earlier. You know, we have multiple Kims and multiple, we have multiple people that have the same last name, same first name, so... Shout it out, and if you want to be called something different, let us know. <clears throat> okay, so 
how many, let's do a couple of painty papers to get warmed up. For those of you that haven't made any painty papers before, you can use any type of paper. I'm using newsprint. You could use magazine pages. You could use um, magazine pages. You could use newspaper. You could use scrapbook paper that you don't like the, the color of. You could use anything, any, any paper. You could use junk mail. Okay, the idea is to make, we're going to make um, a couple of painty papers, and then from the painty, oh, any old mail, Lucinda, you can use anything. From the painty papers, we're going to cover our envelope or make an envelope. Okay, so we're going to do that, and we'll also do a couple of ATCs. And we're going to make our little junk journal. So if you want to make a long, um, you need some scrap paper and some cheap paint, cheap, cheap, cheap craft paint. Um, and you need to decide, like, these painting papers took me a little bit longer than, say, this painting paper. This painting paper was much easier. But I think, paint, for me, painting papers are relaxing. Well, painting papers are relaxing for you guys. They're super relaxing for me. Painting papers are very relaxing for me. You can use any type of paper. Construction paper, you want to make enough to cover your little envelope. So if that has any bearing on what you're going to do, I think I'm going to do my painty papers. Maybe I'm going to do them three colors. Maybe I'm going to do a, a three color painty paper. I'm going to do a three color painty paper. So, and I use a, a lid of a uh, you know, a recycling lid from your from your food packaging. Hi, Shelly, twenty thousand and four. We're happy to see you. Hope you're having a good day. So, and I'm using super cheap paint. You know, the really cheap fifty-seven cent box store paint. You're going to watch tonight, Lucinda? Okay, well, we're happy you're here with us. Just chat us all up and tell us what you're up to. We always loved it. We always, lo I always love to hear what you're up to. Okay, so I'm going to do my painty papers. I'm just going to do some painty papers. I am just going to do my painty papers. I'm going to do mine three colors, and I may paint on, may paint something on top of it. I don't know. You guys know me. I don't, I don't really have a rhyme or reason. And I'm okay with my newsprint showing underneath. You know, if you're not okay with your newsprint showing underneath, then you might want to just sew your paper ahead of time. But it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me that my... that my painting papers are going to have newsprint underneath it. I think painting, painting papers are very relaxing for me, Grace. I mean, sometimes I can get into the zen of painting papers and... I put on like some music that I like or listen to a live stream of somebody else and I just go for it, you know, and I just keep, I keep working with it until I'm happy with it. And the really cool thing is if I mess it up or I don't like it, I can uh, come back and do something different. You know, I can cut it up and use it as collage pieces or make flowers out of it. You guys know me and my obsession with making those paper flowers, right? So, the fun thing about painting papers is you can't get it wrong. No such thing as doing anything wrong with your painting paper. You cannot get your painting papers wrong. You do want to use, if you're using craft paint on newsprint, you do want to paint super thin and you don't want to add any water to it because the newsprint and water are not necessarily friends. Okay? So I'm just going to paint, paint a few painty papers, and then I'm going to allow them to, to... Hi, Trish! How are you? So, Kim, do you belong to our Facebook group? A lot of people go over... If you guys don't belong, go over and join Crafting Mamas on Facebook. And um, a lot of us post our work there. Especially after a live stream, you'll see... 
all sorts of uh, cool stuff posted there. Now, I don't have issues that my stuff has isn't perfect. If you're more of a perfectionist, then go ahead and paint your paint your painting papers. You can, uh, you know, gesso underneath it or put some really cheap white craft paint. If you don't, if you're using newsprint and you don't want and you don't want all the extra stuff on it. It doesn't bother me at all. So everybody, Kim's making comment that not everybody posts. So if you guys feel comfortable with your painty papers or whatever you're making, can you guys please post them in the Facebook group? It does give everybody a lot of an inspiration. And you know, Kim, you're right. I don't post mine in there because I figure you guys have seen all my stuff on my live stream, but you're right, I should because not everybody comes over to join the live stream. So I should post my pa painting papers. So if everybody wouldn't mind posting their painting papers or their ATCs, their power pack. Scotty, how was your birthday? Did you have a good birthday? How was your visit with your mom? From what I could see, it looked like you had a great time. Put some blue in it. Okay, maybe the next round I will. I'm just trying to use the paint up that I have on my palette here. And I may go back and put add some more embellishment stuff on top, too. Maybe I could add blue on top. You guys, lately I'm all about the neon. I don't know why. You know, everybody has their moment with their colors, right? Well, right now, I'm all about the neon. I am all about the neon. All about the neon. Because I think it makes me happy. You know, the colors make me happy. Lisa, painty paper, some of my book pages are painty papers. You don't have to do it on this. You can do it on anything. What did you report? <laughs> what did you report, Amberly? What did you report? Painty papers? You reported, you reported that we're making painty papers? I think you can go back and unreport things. I do that sometimes, too, you know? I mean, I haven't done it in a long time, but I can remember, like, especially if I'm working on a device and not working on my, not working on my stuff. So if we all get kicked off the internet, it's going to be your problem? I bet. So Scotty's saying she had a fabulous time. She got to be with her mom. Oh, and she told you stories and you wrote them down. Oh, that's awesome, Scotty. That's like a... Hi, Sally Ann. That's a once in a lifetime uh, opportunity. My only tip was when you're making painting papers in their newsprint, don't stack them on top of each other until they're completely dry because you don't want them to, um, you know, you don't want them to get stuck to each other. guys, I'm out of white paint. Can you believe it? I've used all the white paint I have. Isn't that ridiculous? Who can use all their white paint? Me. I've, I've used all my white paint. I don't know how I managed to use all my white paint, but I did. But I did, I did. So tell me what's going on in your week, girls. I want to hear. I want to hear what's going on in your world for the week. I have uh, Amberly, it's okay. Just let it go. It doesn't matter. So I have still been doing my purging. How many of you guys are still doing your your craft calamari, your purging or whatever you're doing? Uh, 
I'm still doing that. You know what? It's okay. Just leave her. You can come back for her. My little one's trying to wait for the dog, but we've, I've had her in the car all day. She may just want to, like, hang out in here and hide. You know how she's a, she's a dog that likes to go, and so we try to take her as often as we can if we can actually take her so that she doesn't... So she's not left home alone because she has whatever she has. I mean, you guys know my, you know her, her story. <clears throat> so we try to take her outside, and as soon the kids are going to be all playing outside, and she'll be sitting here crying because she wants to go out. So, okay, my, my. Oh no, my thingy, my. My chat is frozen. All right, my chat's frozen. Let me see if I can reboot it and see if I can if I can get it going again. Let me see what's going on here. I'm sorry, you guys. I, I I don't know what it seems like. Whenever it seems like the issues with my my computer freezing or what they are, it's like I don't even know how to deal with it. It just it happens. Like you're gonna leave. <laughs> Okay, now it's back. Okay, you're going to leave the calamari wet. You're going to... Okay, I'm missing it. So, so you said... I don't know what you're looking forward to, Trish, but and I imagine... Okay, you're going to... Fiona says she's going to leave the calamari up to Susan. <laughs> she's going to purge the cat before the craft supplies. Oh, that's a good idea, Scotty. She's purging the whole... Oh, Grace is purging the whole house. And uh, Susan said she doesn't do seafood. Oh, my gosh, you're hilarious. Um... No, we're going to cover the envelope. Hi, Sherry. Okay. We're going to cover the envelope with your painty papers. Okay, so right now these are just plain painty papers. If you guys want to do, um, if you want to do, like, fancy painty papers like I did on this one, it's just circles made with a Q-tip. Fiona Jane says she is not purging any of her craft supplies, okay? Carrie says her husband says he's going to go do garage shopping and she, you're not going. <laughs> okay. He's going to go do garage sale shopping, but he's not letting you go? So funny. Okay. So, depending upon the size of your painting papers, you're going to need two similar because you're, you're going to want to cover your whole thing. You guys, I have to purge. I have to purge. Whether it's whether I whether I don't purge like all the craft supply thing or whatever, I have to purge. I have to. It's like I'm not organized. I used to be super organized. I'm not organized like that anymore, you guys. And so what's happening is instead of it being a joy, I go to look for something and I can't find it. So I have to purge enough to be better organized. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? I have to purge enough to be better organized. If I don't do anything else, I have to purge enough to be better organized in my... And I decided my space is so small and I've been trying to keep it all self-contained in the tiny space that I have. So I've decided to get myself some some more shelves and allow myself to just expand and use my whole living dining space as an art space. I mean, it still has couches and a coffee table and that sort of thing in it, but I'm going to put some bookshelves on the other side of the room instead of trying to contain it in my little tiny dining alcove. What about a laundry basket? I missed the laundry basket. <laughs> Susan says she was pulling stuff out of the dumpster today and not putting it in. Hey, I understand that. Guys, I haven't gone crafting. I haven't gone, um, I went a couple of weeks ago. I took my, <clears throat> we have a bunch of neighborhood churches near where I live. And there's one that has an amazing yard sale a few times a year. But they make great baked goods. And Hottie loves, the lady makes a really great lemon pound cake there. And so he, he saw that they were, and their, our garage sales are super early here because of the, the heat. So they start at like 7 in the morning and sometimes end by 11. So sometimes it's not conducive to like whatever I'm doing in the day, you know. But I managed to get over there to get him his lemon pound cake. And I did get a few things. I got some 
some dress patterns because they were really super cheap and I know they were going to throw them away if somebody doesn't buy them. I got some dress patterns. I got some cross stitch kits, which I'm not going to use for cross stitch, but they were like a quarter each. They had lots of thread in them and they had some, you know, that good, that canvas. What is it called? You know, I'm talking about the cross stitch canvas, whatever that's called. I got that. You like this yellow, Carrie? This is like a mild yellow. It's not my, it's not my, I don't have white. I was going to do some white, but I think I've used every, you know me, I buy that white craft paint, a lot of it, and I have it in every color, like every shade of off-white, white. I don't think I have any now. I think I've used it all. Um, so I bought that. Honestly, there's not a lot of stuff. I, I wouldn't have bought anything except I was there with buying the cake. I promised him. Guys, he does so many nice things for me. At least I can just buy him the, the cake when he asks for it, which is never, so. Um, yeah, I eat a cloth. You're right, Ann. That's what it's called. I eat a cloth. And so I got that. All right, all you lurkers, say hi. We love to see you say hi. Okay, so what we're going to do, for those of you that have just joined us, get your scrapbook paper out if you want to do, make yourself a piece of painty paper. It doesn't matter what it is, but you need two pieces to cover your envelope. I'm using a small 6x9 envelope, or you can make your own envelope, and I'll show you how to do both. But if you make your own envelope, you need to make it out of something thicker than newsprint. I made mine out of a brown paper bag. I painted on top of a brown paper bag. And that works really well okay so right now I just want to finish getting a base coat on my painty papers then I may do some stamping on it or my circles you know me and my love for those jar lid circles I gotta have those um, so I'm gonna do that and we'll see how it comes out I have to say it's been a fun project and then we're gonna call what we're gonna call it as a make it and use it junk journal so for all of those of you that like to do December dailies, do any of you guys do December dailies? Hi, Samantha. Do any, do any of you guys do December dailies at all? This is sort of a great way to start if you wanted to make your December daily. If you guys, December daily is like, for those of you that don't know, it's like a small scrapbook style book. You can make it like a junk journal or you could make it even just like something for your traveler's notebook or whatever, but you usually document like the days of December, lots of people do it, right? Where you would put pictures, where you put pictures, where you would do, um, you know, document your your holiday, you know, your Christmas holiday. Might add some more yellow to this one. So this is a really great version. You could use the same thing for a December daily, okay? That's the only reason I bring it up. I'm not saying that you have to for those of you that don't scrapbook or don't want to document your thing, if you make yourself a use it, a, a make it and use it journal with 10 pages, that gives you 40 sides to write on. 40 sides to write on. And that will be plenty for a month's worth of documentation. Okay? So that's why I'm mentioning it. Okay, now I need to decide what kind of patterns I'm going to put on this. I can always do circles. What else can I do? I don't have any stamps out here. <laughs> Thanks, Carrie. Hey, lurkers, tell us where you're from. Okay, everybody, I'm going to, everybody on your mark is set, go. Tell everybody where you're from. Shout it out. Tell everybody where you're from. Shout it out, shout it out, shout it out. Tell everybody where you're from. Just type it in as fast as you can. Tell everybody where you're from. Tell everyone where you are from. Texas, Houston, Seattle. I'm from Maui. Well, I live in Maui. I'm not originally from here. Maui, Alabama, Jacksonville, Florida, Oregon, Manitoba, Canada, Australia, Indiana, Australia, Chicago, North Carolina, Vancouver, New York, Canada, Arizona, Missouri, Alabama, Hannibal, Missouri, Ohio, Idaho. Hi, Melanie. Almost Heaven First, West Virginia, South Africa, Winnipeg, Manitoba, Australia, Etowah, Tennessee. Awesome. Tennessee, Mississippi, St. Cloud, Minnesota. Your daughter lives in a volcano? Well, I live on the island of Maui. I love volcano. I love, if you guys have never gotten to go over to the big island, 
it's a great place to go. And I'm sorry, I'm getting my jar lid things out, ladies, so I can do my my circly things, my circle bits, my other jar lids. Tennessee repeating, awesome. Arkansas, Idaho, Arkansas, two Arkansas. Hi, Drop Bear. Season Ant, it's beautiful, right? It is so beautiful. I love it there. Jinx, I know. We got a lot of jinxes going on. Hi, Sharon. So now I'm just gonna do some circles, you guys, because that's what I have close by. But you can do anything you want on yours. And I'm doing I'm gonna do maybe I'll do rainbow circles on mine. So you guys a lot some people are finding their crafty best friends, and I think I love that. Finding your crafty best friend in my world is awesome. So if you want to look for your crafty best friend, shout out where you're from and you never know. Like, people are meeting their crafty best friends, and that's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome sauce in my world. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Sorry, you guys. I got a mess going on here. So I'm going to do some circle stamping on mine. You can do whatever you want. I'm using jar lids. You can use whatever you want. I'm partial to recycling, so I like that. I like the jar lid effect. I like the jar lid effect on mine, but you know, you may not like the jar lid effect on yours. You may want a different kind of jar lid effect on yours. So, I need to find my credit card. And I use coffee can lids for my paint palettes. Those are my favorite things to use coffee can lids. Coffee can lids and jar lids with the uh, Corks hot glued. I glue a cork in the um, inside of them so that they make like a so it makes a space. I'm liking the bright colors right now, girls. You make yours how you like it. This is just going to be a cover for the journal, so make it however, whatever works for you, okay? Right. This is one painting paper down, and I need to, maybe I should do my orange one really quick, and then, I got paint everywhere. And I don't have to find some diaper wipes. I don't have any. I don't know what I do with them. You just need two pieces, you just need two painting papers, um, big enough to cover. If you made, if you used big paint, large painting paper, then you only need one to cover it up. But I found that you need two. So, that's why I said make two painting papers. You just need, if you're using newsprint, you just need enough to cover your envelope, you know? And if you're not going to use, if, you, if you're painting on something heavier weight, like uh, a paper bag or, um, or something like that, then, then you can make that one. I'll show you how to do it both ways. I'll show you how to make it. I'll show you how to cover your painting paper, cover your envelope. Now, this is also the basic way to make a, a junk journal cover, you guys. And you don't have to make it from newsprint just because I like to use recycled materials and I like to use free materials doesn't mean you do. If you want to make, you can use this with fabric, you can do it the same way with scrapbooking paper, you can do it with anything that you want to use for your painting papers, okay? You don't have to, just because I did it this way does not mean you do, okay? Do it your way. Your personality, your way, no right or wrong, your painting paper. You can also use these for ATC backgrounds. You could also use them for art journaling page backgrounds. So I don't know what you guys are all into, but everybody does something a little bit different, and it's kind of fun to see how they all come out. Everybody's comes out good no matter what, and always a little bit different, and that's fine. That's what makes it perfect for all of us, right? Is that we're all different, all so different. If you guys want to chat with me, write in all caps so that I can see it. It's not that I don't see what you're writing. It's just that it goes by sometimes too fast for me, and I don't know if you're talking to me or not or if you're chatting amongst yourselves. So you guys tell it. The reason you tell everybody where you're from is if you find out that five people are from Texas, and then you ask a little further, and you find out those five people are really close to each other, then, I don't know, maybe you guys get together on, maybe you meet up at somebody's house and get together in, uh, on one of the nights I'm streaming and paint any paper along with me, you know, and get together as a party. 
it's always fun, I think, to find people that you can craft with and that you can be yourself with and do your own thing with like this. Hi, Kate. Did any of you guys see Carla's impromptu live stream today, Caged Fish? So there's a lady named Barb Owen, and she has a site called, I think it's called How to Get Creative. And she often streams on Fridays. You guys, I'm always sort of busy, so I don't always catch. If it's not something on my agenda, like that I've already planned, I don't always catch everybody in their live streaming. Not because I don't want to, but, you know, I do have, like, outside of YouTube. Although it may seem hot may seem uh, not possible. I do, and so I don't catch everybody, but Carla really enjoys watching How to Get Creative Barbo, and now she's awesome Barbo, and I haven't watched her in quite a while, but she is, she's got a lot of really fun, good ideas, and she's a really sweet lady, and she always, Fridays, I think she always does some sort of like Free Friday or something where she interviews crafters, I think. I don't know. I don't know all, but honestly, it's just what I re recall, but I may be wrong. So, if you Carla streamed instead, why is Fiona being a brat? Why are you being a brat, Fiona? Hi, Pat. Drama Free Fridays, Barb has. So Drama Free Fridays. So girls, don't go over there and cause any drama. <laughs> well, today was Aloha Friday here, and we didn't have school, but I had a meeting on the other side of the island, which I was so silly. I made the appointment with the person when I thought my daughter had school, because I thought, well, I'll go to the appointment, and then I'll pick her up, you know? Well, today, in Hawaii, they have days off for no reason, and so we, we didn't have school, but I still drove over there, and Fridays are the worst days as far as planning stuff, at least on that side of the island, because it seems like there's tons of traffic for no reason, okay, but granted, there's only one lane in, one lane out, so it could be the fact that there's not a lot of lanes. Okay, I got my painting papers done. Is anybody else done with their painty papers? I just need to move my paint out of the way. Are you taking the dog? Okay. The dog is now going to go outside and play with the kids. The dog thinks that she's a kid. And for those of you that don't know, I have a little tiny dog. Her name is Charlie. And she's a whippet. And she thinks that she is a child. Like, she thinks she's one of the kids running around. She thinks she's like my 10-year-old running around outside trying to, you know, she just thinks she's a kid. So, and if she doesn't get to go outside, then she cries. But it's like, a, it's like you can't win with her. Okay, so I'm going to use one of these envelopes. You can use the one that has, a, you know, the cla the little brad on it or not but if you use the brad take it off and this is the one that I made out of the paper bag and I'm going to show you after this how to make one freehand if you don't have these envelopes because I know not everybody has them okay so you just need to have your painting papers and they need to be dry and I'm going to probably get my let me get my heat gun out okay I'm missing what you guys are writing what did you say Okay, Pat says she's been listening to all of us for weeks, but she can finally see enough chat to chat along with. Oh, Pat, we're sending you love, and we're and that is very scary. Pat's saying that she just has some vision problems, and that I know that can be stressful. But I'm happy that you're here with us, and we're ha we're all happy you're here. Everybody is happy you're here. So give everybody, Pat, give everybody a big uh, Pat. Uh, everybody, give Pat a big aloha. I'm looking for my man tool, which is under my desk. I'm looking for my heat gun, which is like, you guys, the heat gun is like underneath the paper that I just stacked on the floor. And I have the man size heat gun. 
Aloha Pat and we send you lots of love. Love and light. Love, love, love and light. Love and light, love and light, love and light. Okay, so this is what you get when you ask your sweet when your sweetheart asks you what you want for I don't know if it was for Christmas or for my birthday. I can't remember. Okay? And my heat gun had just died, so I said, I want a heat gun. Okay, I meant like the little $15 heat gun that you get at a craft store. Okay, he bought me the $60 man-held heat gun that goes up to, that you could actually peel your skin and paint off with, it goes up to 1,100 degrees. Okay, you guys, it is ridiculous. So, you have to watch it. It goes up to 1,100 degrees. This is a mantle, okay? This is what you get when you say, I want a heat gun, okay? Yes. Yes, you get this. You don't get the $15 or even cheaper little heat gun. You get the ridiculous, I am a power tool man heat gun. It's ridiculous, Lucinda. It's totally ridiculous. You can't, I mean, it's so stupid, right? Hi, Frida. This is totally a mantle. It's like ridiculous. It's like a woman would never buy this. First of all, if you're going to spend $60, he did mean well, Fiona. But you know, if you're going to spend $60, what would you do? You buy the cheapest, you'd buy the cheapest heat gun and spend the rest of it on craft supplies. Right? It's more than, Pat, it's ridiculous. Yes, Nettie, you're right. It's a man brain. Totally man brain. You're absolutely right. You know what I tell them though? I go, thank you, honey. I use that heat gun every day. And I do, but it's just ridiculous. And for those men out there that are watching, they're thinking about, if, you're, if your lady asks for a heat gun, she doesn't mean the Ace Hardware Digital Go to 1100 Degrees heat gun. She's not trying to peel paint off her papers. She's trying to d dry paint on her papers. It's so ridiculous, you guys. It is ridiculous. You got a set of DeWalt cordless drills, Trish? Well, good for you. I mean, I was asking for a craft thing, you know? Um, it can if you put it up on high, but it's no point to it, Cassandra. I mean, it's 60 bucks for this or even more. I mean, it's silly. And you're not going to use the higher temperature settings because it'll catch your paper on fire. And maybe he wanted dual custody. I don't know, Renee, maybe. I don't know. He hasn't used it. I don't know, you guys. I just go with it. It's ridiculous. You know, you just got to roll with it. What are you going to do? Uh, thank you. You bought me. He, you know, the really silly thing was he was like, it won't overheat and shut off, but it can ignite your paper because it does go up to 1100 degrees, which is ridiculous. He did say, though, I did my research and this is the best value. Okay? He's like, whatever. I just wanted the $20. It is heavy, but you know what? It does work well. If he was home right now, I wouldn't be telling you guys this. Bye, Kim! Go love up your family. I totally understand. Yeah, you could use it for acrylic acrylic pores, yes. Yeah, if I burn my papers, that's one way to do that. Oh, you're right about that. You're right about that. You're right about that. <laughs> right? It does sound like an engineer. Right? He was like, I did. This is the best value, and it gets hot enough anyway. He went through the whole thing. He researched it. Paper, Carrie, you could cut your paper on fire, and you could cut yourself on fire, too. So it's not worth it. We're happy you joined us, Kate. I'm sorry I was late tonight, you guys. I didn't have a choice. I was stuck in traffic, stressing myself out. I called Susan from by the road and said, can you please put it and post it in the Facebook group? 
Okay, so get your envelopes out and a glue stick. You could use white glue too, but I can tell you with these, uh, with uh, the newspaper, the, with the newspaper, the glue stick works better. You just got the drop bear joke. It's ridiculous, right, Anne? Okay. It's so silly. Okay, I will tell you, in using these painty pa these newsprint painty papers, it's better to use a glue stick, okay? The reason why is they buckle. Unless you're going to be able to spread your glue so thin, you know what I mean? They're going to, unless you don't care about the buckling. I mean, some people don't care. So I'm just letting you know. So what you want to do first is decide out of all your painting papers which one's going to be the front of your book, okay? Because you do need you do need to decide that. Okay, you need to leave a little. You're going to add an extra piece to the top flap. You do need to have some enough to fold up over, okay? So I think I'm going to use this painting paper for my cover for no reason. Now glue y'all front cover. What? Did you say not till you can video? It's killing you. What? What are you? What's killing you? I'm missing it. Ash, you're not feeling good. Are you leaving us, Ash? Are you not feeling good? Did I miss the whole thing? Did I miss you not feeling good? I'm sorry. I'm sending you a big hug and lots of love. Always, always, always. I'm using permanent glue stick too, ladies. No, and make sure you get a lot of glue around the edges because you want it to stick down well. All right. Get your get your whole thing covered in glue well in your glue stick. In your glue stick extravaganza. I do have a piece of wax paper underneath it. Oh, Edna's leaving. Oh, bye, Edna. I thought you were. I, I'm sorry. I'm. You guys, I only, sometimes it scrolls up so fast for me, I only catch the chat, like, in passing, and I don't see all of it. Bye, Edna. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. I hope you have a wonderful crafty day. Crafty night, whatever time it is, wherever you are. Okay, so I've glued, I've got glue stick, good glue stick on there. I'm going to move my paper that has glue on it. The only thing about this newsprint is you just have to be ready and steady and go. You can't, like, um, futz around with it. It doesn't leave you a lot of room for futzing. So you're going to have to add another piece to the top of your page if you used a newsprint. So don't worry about it covering totally the top because you're going to have to add another piece. Now all you want to do is take your straight edge or your credit card, a clean one, and just smooth out all the wrinkles. Or a bone folder or the back of your scissors or whatever it is that you have that you're using and spread out the wrinkles and you just want to make sure that your paper is is really adhered down to your to your envelope and I don't have a bone folder over here I love this like little tool this uh, Luana told me it's a Tupperware tool. You guys can never find one. It's a pot scraper, she told me. I have to tell you, I love it jelly printing, but it also works good for stuff like this to make sure that your papers are down. You just have to be gentle with newsprint. It's not as uh, durable as, like, say, a cardstock or even if you paint it. So sometimes you can, you know, break, uh, poke a hole in your page if you're, if you press too much. You know what I'm saying. Use your common sense, girls. Use your common sense. Okay. So now you have your your thing looks like this. You have some to, to glue up over, which you're going to do. Okay. I guess I could have moved my book over to one side, and it's still going to need more than what I have. Okay. So... You just want to cut your cut your notch down there. Now you could, if you're smarter than me, you could go ahead and um, measure your 
your paper before you paint it to make sure it covers your envelope and then go back and do it but I'm not that married to it, you guys this is gonna be my use it I may make it use it right away journal so I'm not gonna get myself all stressed out about it whether it's perfect or not Now I am going to want to cut the, the bits off that, that I'm going to want to cut the extra bits off the back that would have, that would have to be folded over. You're impressed that I can chat and craft at the same time. I can't always. I try to. I try to look up and do it. But I can't always. Sometimes I'm in my zen and I can't. What's a hoop snake? What are you guys talking about? You guys always talk about stuff. I don't have anything, any clue about it. Okay, so. You definitely want to, before you glue the back side down, make sure that your papers are trimmed. You're going to add another piece over the top of it so it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Okay. Because you're going to cover over it, it does not have to be absolutely perfect. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fold my, my thing down so that I can get the marks to where, where I need to cut off the excess on the other piece. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut mine. If you fold it down, you can see where to cut it. It automatically scores it. Oh, it's a personal joke? Okay. All right. So... Now this envelope has like a... See how it has like a curve in it? That... I'm going to see if I can notch my Your grandma sent you some glimmer mist spray? That's awesome! That's awesome! Awesome! Now you guys be inclusive. I realize you guys have lots of personal jokes and stuff like that, but nothing makes you feel worse is to go into somebody's live stream and think that you don't belong because you don't get the joke. So I'm going to ask you guys to either include everybody or talk about something else. Because I don't like going into somebody's live stream because it makes me feel like I don't belong. Just my own issues, just my own. So if you can't share, you want to share with all of us, I'm more than happy, but if you don't, Change the subject. Change it to something else that everybody can be included in. Please, pretty please, with sugar on top. Please, pretty please, with sugar on top. So you're going to cover this up anyway. How many of you guys are making along with me, or am I just making this by myself? Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. How are you? Okay, I want you guys to make a list really fast of the last craft item you bought. If you bought a craft item in the last two weeks, on your mark, get set, go. Test it. Write it out. Write it out. Write it out. Write it out. What was the last craft item you guys bought? Last craft item I bought was glue. On your mark, get set, go. No. Lisa, Lisa said one night you can do a meander book. I can do a meander book anytime. Dissolution, distress oxides, glue, paper, thread, Mod Podge, jelly print plate. Jelly plate, awesome, Sally Ann. What kind of dyes did you get, Trish? Paint, awesome. Washi tape, Jen, awesome. Jelly plate, woohoo, yarn, glue sticks. Glue sticks, I know, me too, Sherry. It just. Exacto knife. Awesome, Amberly. You bought paint today, Cassandra? Lace always. Awesome, Nettie. Lace is great. 
Aliens Tacky Glue Amazon. Woohoo! A gallon for $19? Okay, you got me piqued my attention. You piqued my attention. Um, a brown paper bag, Lisa, instead of the envelope. Or some scrapbooking paper. American Craft Paint, Susan? Awesome! You guys, I'm all for good deals on glue. I probably use more glue than anybody. I'm like a glue, I'm a glue person. Yes paste? I like yes paste too. Chalk paint? Awesome chalk paint. Unless you bought the one that I had and it just, it just keeps multiplying. I have this chalkboard paint and I, I, I can't, I don't, it doesn't matter how much I use of it. Okay, so now do you see I have this, I have, I need to add another piece on top here, which I will. And I need to add another piece here. So I'm going to just figure out which piece I'm going to add from here. A butterfly punch? Oh, that's very nice. A gallon of glue is awesome. You bought paper and awesome. Oh, you got an envelope punch board? That's awesome, Cassandra. Okay, I'm going to use, maybe I'll use this one because it has a rip in it. Maybe I will use this one. How many of you guys are making along, or am I making along on my own? Am, am I out in the wild blue yonder making on my own? An index card with, in a grid? Ooh. Yes Paste is like a bookbinding paste. It works really good, but the problem with Yes Paste is if you add any sort of water on top of it, it releases. So it's got to be like... You gotta be good with it. You gotta be like good to go with it. You know? You can't you can't re wet it. It's not it's it, it becomes active again. Does anybody else want to explain yes paste better than me? Because I'm sure you guys know way better than me. Way better than me. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna cover the whole thing. Am I cutting it out? No, I'm just going to put a piece of strip. I'm going to strip it down the middle. Sometimes I cover it all the way to the end. Sometimes I redo it all the way to the end, but I'm just going to put it... Um, no, I'm just going to cut... I'm just going to put a piece inside the middle of the book. That's all I'm going to do. I was just cutting to make a straight... To make it straight. That's all. Not that I... Because I... Honestly, I can't cut straight, guys. I can't... Do any of you guys cut straight? I don't cut straight. So I'm just, I just want to add a piece, I want to add a piece to the, see how there's a strip left in the middle of there? I want to add a piece to it. That's all. That's all. It's going to be folded on the inside, so you're not really going to see it so much. You don't have space to paint in YouTube at your vacation house? That's okay. What did I, what do I take on vacation with me? Sometimes, Cassandra, I make junk journals when I'm on vacation. Like, I collect all kinds of, um, you know, like, cool bits and pieces. I collect from wherever I'm visiting. And then I... Just take a... a go and get a, either an envelope or whatever and just add them in there. So, I don't necessarily paint. You don't have to paint to make a junk journal. You can make them without painting. I mean, I'm going to have to go back and, and glue down my edges because, like, some of these edges are not glued down. You know what I mean? But it's okay. In fact, I can probably cut this one off a little bit. But it's fun that you even brought some crafting stuff with you on vacation. When my kids were little, we used to always go to a place, and we used to go to a lake house in the summer. It didn't belong to us, but it was uh, a friend of ours. Grandparents had this old lake house in the middle of New Hampshire on a lake called Lake Winnipesaukee. Have, any, have you guys ever heard of that lake? Anyway, there's nothing there. there. It's beautiful. You have to take a boat to get there. Like, you can't get on and off. You park your car in a lot, and then you take a boat. You have to either have your own boat or you take a ferry. And there's nothing, 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 nothing. So I used to take all kinds of arts and crafts for the kids because it rains. It's not always sunny. On the sunny days, everybody was in the lake, but sometimes it rains, so you can't play. I'm going to show you how we're going to be adding pages, Lisa. 
Have you never made a junk journal? Is this your first junk journal? Is this your first junk journal? I will show you how you make how you add the pages. I'm just gonna glue this one down on the inside of the envelope like this. I'm gonna tuck it under. Can you guys see? And I'm gonna cut this one off at the bottom. It doesn't need to be. And then I just have the front to do, and then that's it. I mean, I just have the top to do, and then we can add our pages. And we can sew it together, and then we're done. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I may have to go back and glue this little bit down here. Now you can cover your piece of scrapbook paper, too. This just happened to be... Because we've been doing painty papers, I wanted to, to do painty papers with you guys. Okay, somebody asked me what you do with the bits and pieces that are um, that are sticky. I, I add a paper to it and cover it up. So let me let me just figure out how much paper I'm gonna add to it. Let me add, hmm. I don't buy the sticky ones often. First of all, you guys, I guess I, I shouldn't be choosy. I get whatever I can get because you can't always get stuff here. So I get what I can get, which is fine. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of glue to the top of my, my envelope because it didn't go all the way to the end. And then I'm going to add my page on top, burnish it down, and then Turn it over and cut it. So, I'm just making a notch in it for those of you that sew, you know what I mean like how you, how you would notch something that you were going to lay down, you know, a curve or like an armhole piece when you're sewing your arm in, arms in or when you're going to sew, yeah, any sort of rounded corner. That's all I'm doing. So... So did you guys go over to the Facebook group and fill out what was on your crafty bucket list? Did everybody do that? Because I'm going to start looking at that list and picking stuff every week to work on from that list. So if you guys haven't um, added, I mean, it has to be stuff that I want to do too. Now, and if it's something I don't know how to do, obviously I'm not going to do that. And it also has to be something that you can do in a, you know, sitting down at a small space. Because I know some of you wrote like quilting and stuff like that, which is great, but you can't really quilt unless you have a whole setup for a sewing machine where you can see it, you know? Which I don't. I mean, I have a sewing machine, but. And how boring would it be for you guys to watch me sew? That would be so silly. Now, I'm going to add another piece on top of this, so don't fret if it doesn't look like it's perfect or whatever. It'll be fine. I'm going to add another piece on top. The, 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 um, what do you want to call it? The flap of your envelope, because you're going to add like a piece of ribbon to it or whatever, you do need to, even if you're not doing it this way, you do need to reinforce it a little bit because it's the part that's going to have, you know, the hole with the, uh, with the piece of ribbon or whatever you're going to use. Okay. Let's see, I have this piece. So 
So please make sure you guys fill out what's on your crafty bucket list. And if it's something I feel like I can do, I'm gonna I'll do it on a Friday. Or like a special request. I know I know sometimes people want to work on things that they've seen that just seem really intimidating. I mean, it's not just you, it happens to all of us. It's your first junk journal. Awesome. Alright, all you lurkers, say hey. Say hello. Say hello. I just want to fold up a piece and put it inside. I just want to see how big it has to be. Okay, that's good. All right, I'm just gonna add some glue to my, add some glue to my, my gosh, what is this called? Flap. To the flap. Did you guys have a good week? Tell me about your weeks, everybody. I wanna know. I want to know how your week was. Are you guys, is anybody doing anything special for the eclipse? Are you guys gonna do an eclipse party or anything like that? Is anybody, and I just poked a hole in my paper. Is anybody going to do have an eclipse party? I don't even know if you're going to be able to see it from where I am. A lot of times we don't get any of it because we're so close to the equator. We don't, I mean, obviously for, it's happening for us as well. We just don't see it the same way you guys do. I just need to trim this, and I'm good to go. You could also put a piece of scrapbook paper on the inside, you guys. I just okay. It is a little bright yellow. You got some glasses, Carrie. It's awesome. You got solar panels last week. Good for you, Cassandra. Yeah, my whole house runs on solar, but the, the upside of it is is that everything runs on solar, but the downside is when it's cloudy, it's, um, <laughs> I know, Renee, I do, okay. Um, actually, if the sun's not out, then you don't have hot water, unless you have a generator, which we don't. Joyce is saying, she made a lap desk out of a cardboard covered with wax paper. Yeah, Joyce, that's what this is. This thing underneath here, I don't know if you can see it. It's a mess, but it's a, it's an express mailbox that I got. I'd received some mail in, and I covered it in wax and, and wax paper and put, taped it, and I do a lot of painting. I take it with me outside, too. Right now, it's covered with this, my my faux craft sheet, my the back of my copy thing. Okay, so we have our cover. Now, if you didn't make your cover like this, this is fine. You can make your cover another way. You could also use a cardboard. You could use a piece of cardboard, whatever. So, you know, just fold your, you wanna fold your envelope to, to where the, you don't have to put a hard crease in it, but you just want to be able to see if you want to know what size pages you want. Now you can go back and put more embellishment on this. This one's kind of loud and bright. You have some boxes you're going to use. Awesome, Carrie. Oh, okay, Renee, I'm sending you some love. Yeah, and so you're still in the growth zone. Cloudy days, you'll still get power. We have power. It's not that we don't have power. It's just that the hot water heater works off of it. Anne says she sent a package covered in pictures of flowers, and the girl at the post office didn't want to cover up the labels. <laughs> Aww. We'll still be here, Renee, partying when you get back. Okay, so here's the cover, okay? Now what you need, now this is also the start of any cover to any envelope journal, right? 
Now, some envelopes, they, some people don't want to have the envelope flap. I like the envelope flap. Some people would then, you know, you would fold it to meet the end and either close the envelope inside or whatever. But I like it to use it as 10 pages, Lisa. 10 pages, okay? So let me show you the 10 pages I used for this one. And then you guys can pick any 10 pages you want, okay? And then I'm going to show you really quick before we sew on our pages. Because our pages, sewing on our pages are nothing. I'm going to show you really quick. Now save all your bits and scraps. These are great for your um, serendipity paper. Um, so I'm going to save all my little pieces. I'm going to put them, put them in my little accordion folder. And Okay, so this is the one I made out of the brown paper bag. Okay. I'm sorry, you guys. My desk. I promise the next time I'll be a little bit more prepared with the cleaning of the desk. I have not cleaned it off and... I've been arting. I've been making myself, even when I don't feel like it, I make myself sit down and art at least 15 minutes a day. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Well, it's just some newspaper. It's just painted newspaper, right? Now you could add flowers or whatever you wanted to on top. You could also add an image. Like, what if you had one of those power cards, one of our ATC cards that you really liked? Like her, right? So you could... You could put a pocket on her if you wanted to put a pocket. You could use her as the cover of your journal, right? Isn't she cute? She's cute. You could use an ATC if you wanted to glue her down, or even if you wanted to um, wanted to put a small pocket on the front and put a bunch of ATCs inside of it. So you could do that too. Okay, so let me just show you how to do it out of a brown um, brown paper. Who who does not have a brown bag? Or something heavier than that and doesn't have an envelope who doesn't have who doesn't have an envelope or has everybody made envelopes already I've got paint all over me it's ridiculous does everybody have an envelope or no did I lose you guys are you guys all off in la la land painting your painty papers or what So, I'll show you really quick. Okay, Grace says, "Wow, Dutch Brothers was Dutch Brothers Coffees was giving glasses away with a large drink. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, you have an envelope. You had no envelope. Okay, Gloria does. Gloria does. You haven't made an envelope yet. All right. Let me just show you how I made this one. This is like, let me find it. You guys remember the other day I painted all this newspaper. I mean, I painted all those paper bags." Remember, I painted my, when we were making our meander books, I painted, I painted the brown paper bags. I'm sorry, you guys. I have a pile sitting on a table near me, and I can't even, my arm's not quite long enough to reach it. Okay. All right. These are all my painty, my painty papers that I made from, these are all my painty papers that I made from, brown bags okay so let me just walk you through making one with a brown bag it's just so easy and you can make your envelopes and, and I've showed you guys this already once but I'll show you again okay so you want to overlap them one to the other do you first of all you want to decide what's your cover I like this one better it's my cover okay and you don't have to paint on both sides if you're making an if you're making a a paper bag version. This is a this is a brown paper bag that I painted on. Okay, I don't know if you see it. I painted pretty extensively on it. Okay, so you need it to overlap. You want it to overlap a little bit. It doesn't have to overlap perfectly, but you want it to overlap a little, like a, like the back of an envelope. Probably would help if you started out with a more um, even cut page, but mine's not even. Let's see how much I have to overlap. Let me just cut off a little. Okay. It's a little bit better, not much, but a little better. Okay, so 
one side over the other, okay? Okay, bottom part you want to fold up. You can make any size envelope like this, you guys. And if you put something inside of it, you could make your envelope around the thing you're making, you put inside of it. Okay? So you can make a, say you were going to mail something to somebody, but you don't have an envelope. You can make your own custom envelope. Okay, let me just see. Let me just see how long this one is. Okay. It's not, see, it's not going to be, this one's a little wider than the other one, but I just wanted to see how long it was. Okay, so... All right, you got this, fold it up one over the other, fold it up the bottom, okay, and fold it down the top, all right. So now what you want to do is you're going to open it back up, all right, and you're going to cut off, not the back side, but you're going to cut off the two ends on either side like this. And when you fold it, it makes a good uh, scoring mark, so you don't have to worry about um, if we're cutting off the wrong thing because it's scored it already through your folding. Okay. You can make this a scrapbooking paper to you guys. Alright, so there you go. So you've got to fold it over and this is going to be the bottom of your envelope that you're going to glue up. Okay, so you want to decide now how far you want it down, how far you want it to go down, and how far you want your... Okay, so now you're going to open it back up, and you're going to cut off the two side parts the same way you did the bottom, but at the top. So if you guys want to shave your shopping bags and paint on them, you can make yourself one of a kind envelopes with it. You can do it. With, you can you can make your envelopes out of anything, but if you're gonna make them into a journal, I suggest you make them something a little heavier than just plain paper. You know, you can make a really large sheet of serendipity paper and do the same thing. Okay. All right. So this is what it looks like. Have you guys got it? The bottom. All right, fold it up and fold it down. Now you just have to decide: do you want it rounded? How you want it? You know, you know what you're gonna do. If you want it, you might want it. Sometimes I cut this a little bit lower here just so that I can get my hand inside of it. Bye, bet. You going? Love you, bet. Hope you feel better. Night, bet. Night, bet. Hope you sleep good. Okay, so now you just glue. You just you can decide like if you decide, okay, I want to have like a scallop thing. I would glue it first. So now you just use your glue. You guys, and what I do so that I don't get too much glue on it is I put glue on this side, on the inside of this part, right? And I see, and then I put it also on the outside of that part. Because I know that if I glue both of the edges, wherever it overlaps, it's going to work. Okay? Burnish it down. Using my glue lid because I don't have anything else. And there's some bump in here. What is this? Okay. Now, if you, if you want it to be square, fine, or you can just take the bottom. Oh, Pat, tell us anything. Tell us anything. We're working for a giggle. I need a giggle. You're not interrupting me, girl. Pipe right in. Good night, Anne. Sleep good. Maybe I'll see you on Tuesday. So I just edged my corners like that. Okay, and then you just have to decide at this point, like how how far down you want your. But that's the basic concept. Do you guys get it? Do you guys get the basic concept of how to make an envelope? 
and how to make it out of your brown paper bag and then you've made your envelope that you can like look this is this one was made out of the same brown bag just painted differently okay do you see and then I cut I my edged my I mean I made the flap angled it's the same it's the same idea right so now you have your envelope for your journal and these are just painted brown paper bags painted so Pat's saying that she had to have an MRI she has to have an MRI every two months for her MS she has multiple sclerosis so she had a friend who was a techie make a CD with a few of my live streams for you to listen to instead of the noises oh Pat really And so when she's having her MRI, the deck tech puts on your special CD. Oh no, Pat, was it horrible? Was it like the, was it Pocket Man? Oh no. Oh no. Good for you, Gloria. You, you made it with heavy supermarket circular. Awesome. Pat, that's so sweet. Did you, what, what did you listen to? Now I'm going to, am I mortified? Am I going to, am I going to, <laughs> oh no! Did you listen to me laugh like a hyena? Snort? Oh my god, you listened to Pocket Man! Oh no! And then, and the MRI tech heard? Oh no! Oh my gosh. Pocket Man. I'm never gonna live down Pocket Man. Or calamari, right? Or, or or driving through Starbucks to get McDonald's for my daughter. Oh, Pat, that's so hilarious. Oh, Joni, Pocket Man. Oh God. So, are you part of our Facebook group, Joni? Okay. So I'm as naive. You had to explain to both the man, the two ticks, the man and the lady. Joni, it's ridiculous, okay? I am as naive as it comes, okay? I think I am just probably... How did you stay still, right? You're probably laughing. Oh my God, that's so crazy. So Joni, you know we have this Facebook group and you know, I just started it because everybody was having such a good time chatting and feeling, you know, having really a lot of fun. And that's how it started. And I didn't want to exclude anyone. And I don't know where people come from when they join that Facebook group. Some of them are just on Facebook. Some of them are otherwise, right? So anyway, this man joined. Now, there could have been other men that have joined, okay? But this man joined. And... You know, I only have two rules. That you have to be nice to each other and you can't sell anything. You can't solicit other members for materials and that sort of thing. You have to be there for the whole group, not just for yourself, right? So, I, I was like, this man shows up and he posts these ridiculous drawings of lady parts. He, draw, he, he draws lady part art. Okay? And it wasn't very good lady part art. But I was trying not to be so prudish or whatever. I was trying to be like, you know, I went to art school. So I was trying to be like, you know, art subjectives, not for everyone. Whatever, right? Well, he puts lady part art. And we're all being really kind. You have to just be kind to each other. So we're all being really kind. Okay? We're being like, oh, that Ash was the most diplomatic. She was like, oh, I've tried mirror drawing before. That's very difficult. Like when he drew like... Anyway, you you were you were laughing as you were released. Okay, so he drew he drew this lady part art, and he posted one of them was just like a naked breast, which was fun, which was fun. But then he did sort of this like provocative lady part art in sort of um. 
I don't know what his style was. I'm trying to think of like the proper word. Can anybody pipe in and say what the proper word was? So the lady part art was, anyway, he, point, he, he did not, he did abstract depictions of lady art parts, lady parts. Okay, so I'm trying to be all PC about it, and I'm like, okay, and I'm just kind of hoping nobody's really going to comment on it because, you know, I'm just kind of like, okay, well, nobody's going to, let's like, let's, let's just not comment on it, and it'll go to the bottom of the, you know, in the bottom of the Facebook feed. But <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, so of course everyone comments. And everybody's kind of being really kind of polite, like, well, congratulations on your drawings, or that's a unique perspective. I mean, people were really trying. Okay, so then it gets worse. So he posts a couple of other things, and I'm like not thinking of it. And then one day, maybe a week or two later, he posts out of the clear blue a picture of his pocket. Okay? He posts a picture of, he's like wearing these work pants and he posts a picture of the pocket. And on the pocket is like, got, and he said, I fixed my pocket. Right? And it's like these orangey pants with a black trim. Okay? And I... And I'm, I used to be a costume designer, and I was like, I think those pants come that way. But I was like, you know, anything for a guy that sews, all right. I was like, good for you. And I think everybody kind of commented like, oh, good for you. Then Susan messages me, and she sends me this picture, and she goes, are you serious? Look at his pants. Okay, do you know what, was, what he was showing us? But I am so naive, I can't even see it. He was showing us what he had in his pocket, okay? Oh my God. Oh my God. I was like, oh no. I was mortified. I was completely and utterly mortified. It was ridiculous. Joni, like I'm so naive. I didn't even like, my head doesn't work that way. Okay. It just doesn't work that way. So needless to say, so I sent it to, <laughs> to Hottie. I sent it to him and he was like, he was like, who is this person? Because I honestly didn't see it. But not only did I need... <laughs> he was showing his pocket. He was showing his, his pocket friend. And, oh my God. I was... <laughs> we laughed. It was ridiculous. And so, it was just crazy. So if you listen to that one, that was when... I'm explaining to you why, if we get anybody's looking for the guy, why he's not there anymore. It was ridiculous, but Susan was the only one that caught it. Susan was it. She was like, she was... Cassandra, I missed it too. I totally missed it. I missed it. I totally missed it, you guys. I was not... My head doesn't work like that, okay? I'm not... I, I, I told you, I'm, it's naive. I'm, I'm incredibly silly naive. It was so ridiculous. Anyway, we, we laughed so hard until we cried. I la I have never laughed so hard in a live stream. If anybody just listens to that, they're going to think that I am like some crazy, crazy person. Just, I mean, I laughed so hard. It was so ridiculously funny. And it was, it was, he gave us all the best laugh ever. Oh, you have to go back and watch Pocket Man. You'll and you'll get it. The worst part is, is that because not all of you are in the Facebook group. So like somebody like somebody somebody comments like, "What was in his pocket?" And then it just snowballed. It just snowballed. Yes. Yes. Anyway, if it wasn't for Susan and her vision, but you guys, who knows? He was probably, he'd probably still be in there. It was ridiculous. Well, I'm glad that you listened to it in your, in your, in your MRI and it made you laugh. But it sounds like I'm crazy. Didn't you? I saw, we all saw the picture. And it's like, my head doesn't work that way. And you know, I, when she pointed it out to me, when she point when Susan pointed it out to me, of course I saw it. 
But then when I sent it to Hottie, he saw it like in two seconds. <laughs> Joyce says, I bet it was a small pocket. <laughs> you are probably right. You are probably right. It was ridiculous, you guys. It was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. It was so funny. It was ridiculously funny. Okay, so for those of you, you guys, I'm going to wash my hands. Just give me one second. Get out. We need a, You need a needle and a thread and a phone book if you have one. Good night, Scotty. I hope you feel better. I, you know what, today's been kind of an odd day. I have a feeling with this eclipse coming up that the energies are going to be a little bit more than we even imagine. So I hope you sleep good. All right, girls, get your needle and your thread and get 10 pieces of paper. The ones, what I have here are 10 pieces of junk, I mean, of uh, book pages. Okay? I'll be right back. I'm just going to wash my hands two seconds. Watch out, Puffin. Anyway, you guys, I'm sorry. My hands were so gluey and so painty from my... It was ridiculous, you guys. I don't know if it's as... You guys, I can't tell if it's as funny as it was when it happened to us because, you know, we were all in... It has Pocket Man in the title. Because we were all, like laughing so hard in it and it was just like a it was like a comedy of errors you guys it was like one of those things where you're just like you can't help but laugh crafty dreams jen are you leaving good night see you. maybe i'll see you tuesday You guys, I don't know where my phone book is, but <coughs> you need something like a book cradle. <coughs> the reason, <coughs> the reason for it is, um, the reason for it is so you can poke your holes in your paper. Okay, so I usually use a phone book, but I don't know where my phone book is because I've moved all my stuff around. What did you say you went to? Oh, it was this funny, Pat. Pat, you know what? You guys, that's my life. That ridiculousness is my life. And thank goodness for Susan. I'm telling you, I didn't... You guys, I just don't see things. I don't know why. I just don't. I don't see things. Anyway, <clears throat> yes, we're still here. I am. Night, Frida. Okay. You want to get a darning needle or a big needle of some sort, okay? You don't want to be blind like me. How the ash. I think I laughed so hard my side was hurting so bad from that. My side hurt. It was so ridiculous how much we laughed. That was so crazy. Good night, Frida. Maybe we'll see you on Tuesday. Good 
You guys, I can't even see. This is like, first of all, it's getting dark here. And I can't see anything. Pat said she's heard a saying today. It said, a day without laughter is a day wasted. Hi, Crafty Creations. You got pages in a needle, Lisa? Awesome. We'll thread your needle. And if you're not as blind as me, you'll be able to thread it easily. I can't see anything, you guys. I'm having like a, I'm having a definite, can't see anything moment. And the eye on this needle is huge, so that's even more ridiculous. Did you guys watch Caged Fish today? She did some glue books, and those are really fun. She does some amazing glue books. Oh my gosh. So tell me what you guys have on your crafty wish list, if there's something on there that we haven't even talked about ever. The really bad thing, Lisa, is I have my glasses on. Night, Joni! The really bad thing is I have my glasses on. And I still can't see. Pat says she lives by the saying, Live today like there's no tomorrow, and love to laugh. And you and she loves to laugh with us. Aww. Oh, Pat. Sometimes I think we've had crazy laughs. Carrie, she doesn't normally stream on Fridays. She streams on Tuesdays. Kim says she wants a book press. I have a lot of stuff on my crafty wish list, but I really need n none of it. I need absolutely none of it. Do any of you guys need anything you have on your crafty wish list? I don't. Okay. So, this one we're only going to do a three hole pamphlet stitch in. Okay? And that means it's going to have a, a, a hole at the top, a hole in the middle, and a hole at the bottom. Okay, these are the pages I've picked for this one. You can pick anything. A junk journal, the idea of a junk journal is just filled with all kinds of different types of paper and pages. And it's for no reason. You can, um, you know, you can write in it, draw in it, glue in it, whatever you want, okay? So, you do need a couple of paper clips, and I am going to make a template, because it is easier if you make some sort of a template. Now, you can make your template out of anything. You do want to have a book cradle, or a, like, I'm using this book. I usually use a phone book, but I cleaned up my space, so I don't have a phone book. Okay, so... You want your template, you need to have a piece of paper that's going to sit right in the middle of your book cradle. Okay, and then you want to mark on your template, you want to decide where you, now this is where, this works even, this works great if you're going to do multiple three hole pamphlet stitches, I'm only going to do one, okay, in this book, but if you were going to do multiples, then you would line it up, um, you know, measure and then do the next one and the next one and the next one. Meaning you'd poke three holes here and if it was going to have two or three signatures, then maybe you'd have more here and more here, right? And you'd have done it on your template. Okay? Because mine's only three, I'm just going to do a, big, a top, a middle, and an end. Okay? So I want to hear, what, what do you guys have on your, do you have anything particular on your crafty wish list that we haven't discussed? Does anybody have that? Well, I'm going to show you how to sew it in just a second, Vicki. I'm not even there yet. Okay? Okay. I got my three, my three holes. Hang on a second, you guys. I'm going to show you how you sew it in just a second. What about paper beads? Oh, you want to add paper beads to that? Okay. Yeah, Carla lives in the middle of um, 
<clears throat> she lives in the middle of Florida, in Lakeland, Florida, right? I don't know. Is that the middle? I don't know exactly where it is. You guys know better than me. She she is awesome. And if any of you guys watch um Did any of you guys watch Shannon Green? She and Rosemary Morris and Rosemary Morris as well, they're gonna do a workshop soon making a paint chip making a paint chip journal I think in Arkansas so if you guys live anywhere near them I would definitely go and visit and have a look and see okay so you have your template I'm just gonna make my holes bigger so I can see them now you do need to mark what's the top of your page and what's the bottom of your page because you want you don't want to lay it down wrong so this is, I always mark it top and my, my things go up, right? I just want to make sure my, my holes are in my journal, the ones that I've poked through. It's easier if you punch your holes before you do, if you, po if you poke your holes large enough, if you poke your holes large enough, I mean poke your holes before you sew your journal together. So then you're going to take your pages and you may have to do them one or two at a time, right? Depending upon how many pages or the thickness of your pages. We're only doing 10 pages so there's not a lot of pages there. And because these are only partial pages, I'm going to have my partial pages lining up on the bottom. Okay? You can line them up wherever you want. So you're just going to line them up and you're going to poke your holes through your pages as well. Right? And since we're only doing 10 pages, 10 pages should be more than enough. 10 pages is, is a month's worth of journaling. If you journal, it gives you 40 sides of the paper to, to journal on right so it gives you 40 sides forty sides of, of journaling okay and then you just keep doing your pages until you have poked all of the holes through them What are you talking about? A cameo like the like the cutting the machine, the die cutting machine? Is that what you're talking about? A cameo die cutting machine? I like book binding too, Beth. There's something satisfying about binding a book. I don't know what it is, but it just is, right? I'm not the only one that feels that way, am I? That there's something just really satisfying about binding a book? <clears throat> okay, so let me just line my pages all back up. And then this is the easy part. Now that you've already poked all your holes through, it should be really easy. If you want your tail, on the, if you want to tie it on the center, I mean, if you don't want your tail hanging off the back, then you want to start in the center. If you want to, in the inside. If you want your tail hanging off the back, you want to start at the back, okay? So you're just going to go through your center holes that you've already poked and take your time and just line them all up. I have it clipped on one side. I don't have it clipped on both, but you just want to 
you just want to line your pages up to you just want to line the let me not clip this one because there's hardly any pages to it you just want to run go ahead and put your needle through the first hole Can't see this one. No. Yeah, there it is. You just want to line it up back the way you you know where you poked the holes. This one only has ten pages in it, so it's not that big of a deal. If it was more pages, it might be more difficult. And then you just want to go ahead and line it up in your journal, right? And then now go ahead and poke your picture. Um, clips on it. You definitely want to make sure you're not, you don't lose your tail because you can pull your tail all the way through. So you want to get your tail and leave some of it on the inside because you're going to need it to tie. So leave your tail there and you might even want to clip your tail down with your with your paper clips. If you guys are chatting with me, I, I can't, I'm sorry I'm missing it because I'm <laughs> Brenda says she doesn't want anybody to, learn, to, to look at her tail. You want to learn how to make beaded baubles for your junk journal carry? Yeah, those are kind of fun. Okay, so then go back through the hole in the middle of your spine. And then you want to do the same thing. You want to line it up with the holes that you've already punched in your... And sometimes, if depending upon how many pages you have in a signature, if you have a lot of pages in a signature, it can be, um, it can be more difficult. So you want to just take your time. Don't be in a hurry with this part, you know? It's like being in a hurry never works out when you're binding a junk journal, okay? Being in a hurry doesn't never lines up. Whenever just never ends up good if you're in a hurry doing a junk journal, at least in my world. Okay, so you have this. You have the middle one. Okay. And then you're gonna go through the top hole. I'm going to have to do it from the back first because I can't see where I poked it. And take your time. Don't be in a hurry. And so it I'll take it back through. So Brenda says she doesn't want to lose her tail. You're so funny. So what are you guys gonna do for the weekend? Does anybody have any big weekend plans? Does anybody have any big weekend plans? They're just, Sherry, it's just painted newspaper. That's all it is. If you guys, if you, you know, if you guys are into making painty papers like me, I'm, I don't know why I'm so into making painty papers, but I just am. You know how we all have our, like, weird, one little weird thing, or maybe many weird things that we like to do? Well, that's one of mine. I like the painty papers. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. You've got out, and then you've gone through the middle, and then you've gone through the top. Now you're going to go... You know what, you guys? I'm gonna unsew this whole thing. I'm gonna unsew it all. Start over. 
I'm going to start over. Start over from the center. I'm going to do it from the inside. Anyway, I'm, I'm obsessed with making painty papers. How many of you guys are enjoying making painty papers? Is anybody but me really liking the painty paper? I'm like into making the painty paper. Okay, I just am. I'm enjoying it a lot, making the painty papers. I'm going from the center, then I'm going to go down to outside to the back to that hole. I'm enjoying making the painty papers. I really, I really like them. I really like making the painty papers. I'm really into it. I mean, are you guys, who else is into making the painty papers besides me? I can't be the only one that's into making the painty papers. Am I the only one that's into making the painty papers? I'm into making the painty papers. I just enjoy it. I don't know why. I think it's just relaxing. And it's not a big deal. It's like, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be, so I went through the center to the top, now I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom hole. I say I am, but I may not be able to get it through the holes. I just enjoy it. I feel like it's relaxing. I feel like it's just, I'm like able to just be, you know, and just it doesn't like there's no right or wrong. It doesn't have to come out to be beautiful. I can use it as a component and something, you know. You guys, please be kind to yourself during this time. This is like energetically just a very powerful time for all of us. It's also a time of like letting go of old things that are not working for us, and all of your junk is going to come up. And I'm not trying to scare you or anything. It's going to happen whether you believe it or not. It just, if you feel like overly emotional or tired or just fatigued. So I went through the center, then over the top, then I took it from the top all the way down to the bottom, and now I'm going to go back through the center. So you have to just be kind with yourself, you know? It's like you can't, it's like, it's like trying to force yourself to do and be something that isn't working, right? I don't know. Have any of you guys ever had that experience where like, no matter how hard you try, you're just pushing yourself to be, to do and be something that just doesn't working for you. Does anybody besides me ever have that experience or is it just unique to myself? What did you learn, Vicki? Okay. What did you learn, Miss Vicki S? I'm going to have to like go, I'm going to have to watch myself go through each page again because I can't, I didn't make the center hole big enough. back to the center hall. What did you learn? Or second guessing yourself? I second guess myself all the time. Are you kidding? It's like I think it's my way of life, you know? Okay, so you have both of your strings, one on either side. And you're just going to tie them and then that's it. And you've got your journal bound. You could do it on the outside and then um, somebody said add beads. You could. But, you know, this is like a super simple, easy way to just make yourself a, a book you can use right now and not wait. What did you learn today? Oh no, you guys. Having my own moment. Where's my needle? Ah. Okay. I'm having my own. I didn't pull it. I thought I pulled it tight and I didn't. So tell me, what, what did you learn today? Okay. You guys, I'm completely blind, and I cannot find. I cut my needle, my needle and thread off, and I don't see the needle. It has to be right here. Oh, here it is. Anyway, what did you learn today? I'm sorry, I have to undo the knot, because I didn't pull it tight enough in the back, and there was like a spade. There was a... You love doing painty papers? I like doing painty papers too. It's so ridiculous, but I do like it. Okay, you want to make sure before you tie it that you... Okay, there's a knot in the thread. That's what it is. I'm like, what is going on here? Uh, because I was so stressed out driving to get here on time. I was like in traffic. 
and I was stressing myself out. And thank goodness for Susan. Susan and Bet are so sweet. They were like telling me, just breathe. Just breathe. I was not, I guess I wasn't breathing, you guys, because I was stressing myself out. I was like really stressing myself out. It was ridiculous how much I had stressed myself out. So I was stressing myself out. And that was not doing me any good. Okay, now I have it. Now I have it right. Okay. I pulled it tight enough. But I was really stressing myself out in traffic. And you know after you have a moment like that, how you feel... How you just feel like, ugh. And then I hadn't eaten anything. I know, let it go. You know what? I do need to let it go. You are absolutely right, Miss Carrie. Gotta let it go. Gotta let that stuff go. You can't let it bother you anymore. Gotta let it go. Okay. So. Alright. Here I have. There it is. Sewed together. Now, what you can do. And look, mine's not even perfect on the outside. I didn't even get it perfect. I could unsew it and do it again. Which I'm not going to today. But I could. And it will bother me. So I will. But the point is. Is that you can then use this. So, for those of you that make a December daily, now if you want to make a little closure on it, or you want to make, you know, punch a hole here, tie a ribbon and wrap it around. If you're going to make a December daily, you can do it exactly the same. Now, I cut the end of that pocket open so that I could put some stuff in, and I cut the end of the pocket open here. And my pages, some of them are pocketed, okay? So, this one is, like, so what you can do is you can go if you decide, hey, you know what, I think I'm going to glue stuff in. Glue a bunch of stuff in on a page. If you don't, if you run out of pages, add a tip in. And a tip in is just a piece of paper that you take some tape or some glue or something to. And this one has a few pockets. I made a few pockets. Um, and you add it in. So, like, say you get down, may, maybe this month you did a ton of writing. So, at some point, you could just do a tip in. So, just take a piece of paper like this, right? Or any piece of paper. Writing paper. Tape it in and tip it in. That's what a tip-in is. It's that simple, you guys. This one's far from perfect, but it's that simple. Y you were listening? Shelly and the ladies were behaving while I was gone. <laughs> uh, Vicki said she learned that nail art baubles are good for ATCs. I don't have any... Um, I don't have any nail art baubles, but I think that's great. So this is just made from that. Now you can do the same, and I will go back and fix it because it'll drive me crazy until I do. But you can do the same thing. Now if you wanted to add multiple signatures, just when you're making your template, add another three um, holes here and add another three holes here. And then you do the same thing with your envelope. You add them in. And then you just sew it in. You, you know, the thing is, I think that we make it so much harder than it needs to be. I mean, this was made completely from recycled stuff. Including painting on the painty papers on the on the cut on the, the newspaper papers, right? So that's all there is to it, my girls. That's it. You can do the same thing, I'll do the same thing with this one. You know, I will poke my holes. Maybe I'll do a multiple signature one. I'll poke my holes. And then if I want to go back and decorate my cover. So who is it that said they didn't have a, they were going to do a journal or, or they were watching Carla's live stream and they said, oh, I don't have any books for making a glue book. So make your own. Make it like this. Make it with painty papers. Like make it, make your own glue book cover like this. Get your magazine pages and book pages paint it or otherwise. I mean, if you don't want to paint them, don't. And glue and glue little pieces in. Then if you wanted to participate and do a glue book with her, you just add it. It's not it's not a whole thing. I mean, it's just super simple. So if you have a hole punch, use your hole punch. I think I have one somewhere around here. Use your hole punch and add some string or ribbon. Here, let me see. I have this hole punch. I think this one pokes a tiny hole. It may not even be big enough, but we'll see. Or if you had a piece of elastic, you could do it with the elastic, too. You know, you don't need... Um... 
Do any of you guys have these like weird hole punches? I don't even know where I got them from, but I have some weird hole punches. Weird hole punches. And this one only punches the tiniest hole. If you watched Carla's live stream, she did a thing with a glue book. That's what I'm talking about, Lisa. She did a glue book in her live stream. Have you ever watched her, Carla? She does glue books. What else does she do, guys? Glue books and meander books and what else does she do? do you, can you guys give me the 411? Those of you that know her. Her name is Caged Fish, so she does glue books. You know, glue book is kind of like a journal for no reason. You can add anything you want to it. And I had to pound, uh, pot, pot, uh, punch mul multiple holes in this one. because the holes are so small. Lisa, a glue book is anything that you want to make it. Like if you like to glue, um, you just glue stuff in it. It's like a journal, it's like a glue book journal. So let me just see how much I want of this. We all do this much. Glue book is like a journal for no reason. You can glue all kinds of stuff in it. Glue things you like, pictures, like a collage book. Does that make sense? a collage book. That's what a glue book is. So there, I just put my little, my ribbon through it and, and just tie it around and use it as your, as your journaling. Lisa, it's just, a, it's just a form of art. It's just an opportunity to create art and do what you want. That's all. It's not a big deal. It's not like, you know, it's not a... It's just an opportunity to use your creativity for something that you might not have done in the past or maybe something that interests you. Maybe you like to collect certain things. That's all it is. You know, it's not... There's no rhyme or reason for it. It's just like doing art for the sake of art. Okay? So... That's all it is. Okay, my lady's wet. <laughs> yeah, I stop. I love Dee Dee Willingham. Okay, I love her. Yes, I stalk her. You know, I don't stalk her because I enjoy watching her. But she, you guys could see her more often than I do. She comes on super early in the morning for me. It'll be like 3 o'clock in the morning, Hawaii time. I think she comes on 9 o'clock. Is it 9 o'clock in the morning that she comes on? So you guys, this is, Mildred, are you still here to be lose you? Look, here's a finished journal. Now look, you can add your tabs if you wanted to decorate it, try art experiments in it. You could do that. You could do anything you wanted. It is yours. Okay? So she comes on at 9. Well, it's like 3 o'clock in the morning here. So. She's great. Her name is Inkwell. Her name is Inkwell on YouTube, and she is, and she's also, and, but she does live on Ustream on Monday to Sunday, Mondays, Wednesdays, and sometimes Fridays at early in the morning, and she streams for a long period of time. Okay, my girls, how about let's just all sit here for a second together and send each other lots of love. And focus on our heart one more time before we call it a night. Focus on your heart and breathe yourself in. And release anything that doesn't work for you right now. 
and breathe yourself back in and let go of anything else and one more time breathe yourself back in and let go of anything else Okay, girls, I love you, and thank you for hanging out with me. Yes, you have a journal for no reason now, Mildred, and now you can make it into anything you want. You can glue stuff in it, add stuff to it, just enjoy it. But I hope I demystified how to make a journal out of absolutely nothing. And maybe I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Hopefully you'll join us back on Tuesday. And for those of you that want to join our Facebook group, please do. Call Crafting Mamas on Facebook. If you liked, if you had a nice time tonight, ladies, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And as always, ladies, from my heart to your heart, I'm sending you so, so, so much aloha. Thank you, ladies, and come over and join us on Facebook. And I'll maybe I'll see you guys if if the spirit moves me, I'll, I might join you again sometime during the week. But if not, have a great weekend. And you can always catch me over on Facebook. All right, take care, ladies. Love you all. Aloha.